So this is my introductory video to our summer course, uh, Principles of Micro Econ, uh, Econ 130. Um, my name is uh, Dr. Tom Scheiding. As some of you probably already know, um, I'm obviously a faculty member here on the West Oahu campus. Um, and basically, I just want to make a short video that gives you an overview of how is this class organized. I'll then make some other videos that talk about um, how to do the things that you need to do to get the best grade in this class and how to do the assignments and how to do the discussion boards. Okay, so let's start. Um, this class will be primarily done using La Lima and to a, a smaller extent Google Classroom. So let's start with La Lima first. <coughs> So, log into La Lima, and you should see Econ 130 uh, showing up. If you don't, let me know. Um, if it's not showing up at your top, it's going to show up under Sites, and you would see it on your side here um, under the summer of 2019. Okay. I'm going to try to use announcements a bit more than I usually do just because it's more permanent. It just sits here. Um, but you would log into La Lima, and this would be what you would see. Um, and then you'll see here for the tabs, um, the most important tabs are really going to be uh, this Topics tab. Uh, the, by far, that's going to be the most important right there is the Topics tab. Um, let's just talk about the syllabus first. Um, it's basically the thing that serves as the, I hate to say the contract, but it's basically how I think of the, the course for the summer, and hopefully you then decide and you're studying around it. Okay, so I give you my contact information. I'm going to be here most of the time that this class is running, so you can come to my office if you want to. I'm in the e-building, room 124, um, or you can just send me an email. You can give me a call. Anything works out. But because this is a summer class, there's nothing that annoys me more um, about... Um, faculty members that teach online is that how can you not reply right away to a student that's taking an online class from you? It just seems to defeat the purpose of learning online. It'd be like us being in an in-person class, you talking to me and me closing my ears and not saying anything to you. That's how I treat not replying to your emails. Now, with that said, it's possible that, you know, like if you were talking to me in the classroom, I can't hear your voice because I'm getting so many other voices also talking to me. So my email inbox obviously is pretty full, but I try to remember, right, I try to reply to everyone's email um, that, are, that, that I'm teaching this summer. I try to reply to those right away if I can very quickly. If anything, at least I'll say I can't do it right now. I'll have to do it, you know, tomorrow morning if it's like late at night or, you know, I can't do it now, but I'll do it on Monday if you send it to me on the weekend. But you absolutely should get some sort of reply from me if your email requires it. And you should get it from me within a day. If you don't get it, send it again. I will not take any offense. It will not bother me. Um, I'll apologize already that I didn't um, reply to you, but just send it to me again. Um, lots of little issues I've noticed become bigger issues because a faculty member doesn't reply back to a student. It's also caused, though, by students not replying and not sending an email in the first place to identify a problem. So send me an email. I'm not going to have any problem. This is exactly what I get paid to do, right? It is not just to reply to emails, but... Um, to be engaged in the class. Okay, uh, what is this course? This is basically microecon, meaning that we're going to talk about individual firms and households and how they make decisions. Um, for many of you, I know that you are business students that are required to take this class. Um, that's not going to be the only way I design this class, but I try to keep that in mind. So even if you're taking this though for gen ed or for social sciences, it's not that you're going to find this course uninteresting. You're just going to find some of the examples are going to be more business oriented just because that's the bulk of the students. If you don't like the examples and it bothers you and you want a social science example, let me know. If you want a gen ed sort of type of example, let me know. Okay. I'm assuming you can all read here. You don't need me to read it to you. We have our student learning, student learning outcomes, but then we have our discussion postings. Um, I revised this a little bit because I noticed we don't have 
it's not 10 and 12, it's actually 8 and 8. We're going to have 8 discussion postings, 8 assignments, and then 3 exams. So then I provide you a little bit of an overview of what each of these things are. And I'll update the syllabus to reflect the, the, eights, the 8 discussion postings and the 8 assignments. But basically, this class has, I'm just going to scroll down and I'll scroll back up. This class has 8 topics. For each topic, you're going to have to do an assignment. You're going to have to do a reflection paper. And for each section, you're going to have to also do an exam. And that's pretty much it. Um, it should be pretty straightforward in terms of what do you need to do and how am I assessing you. You're doing a homework assignment, a reflection paper, in each section you're doing an exam. The textbook. So we are very fortunate in economics that we have a textbook that's free of charge. I'll show this to you on La Lima. So there's nothing that you need to buy for this class. As I identified, I'm going to be using La Lima for most everything. The only thing um, that I am going to add to this here is I'm going to use Google Classroom. So there's just a slight adjustment to this here. And then we have our classroom policies, integrity, and accommodation. Our dates, again, for how we do things. In terms of how I run this as an online class, you can work ahead as much as you want. Um, you can finish the class as fast as you want. Nothing. Um, I'm just imposing minimum deadlines of when you need to do things, meaning that by June 2nd, you need to have the Section 1 material done. By June 16th, you need to have the Section 2 material done. And by June 28th, you need to have the Section 3 material done. If you can't, for some reason, make those dates, please reach out to me as soon as possible. Um, and we can figure something out. Then we have our grading scale. And then we have our topic overline, uh, overview. So that would mean that you're going to do these two topics and everything's going to be done by June 2nd. These three topics, all done by June 16th. These three topics, all done by June 28th. But again, things are going to be posted um, that if you want to do everything, all eight topics, and you want to do it all in a week and a half, it's going to be rough, but you can do it, um, and you can do it. Um, I'm not going to stop you. Okay, um, let's go back to the class. So then we have our textbook here. On this textbook tab, that's the entire textbook. But this textbook is like 500 some pages long. I don't expect that you're going to want to have to read a 500 page book. Um, instead, you're going to do this, and this is going to upload, and this is going to, it's going to be embedded here. If you're using Chrome, it's just going to show up like this. You can always click things, this little arrow thing on the side here, and you could then print it or download it. It's just a PDF. I don't want to spend too much time on it, though, because I don't anticipate most of you are going to be doing this um, using the entire big book. Um, what I did is I split up the large book into individual chapters. Sorry, La Lima is being uh, incredibly slow. So we'll wait for it to think about the chapter. As you can see here, 559 pages. No one's going to read 559 pages. Sorry, I'm just waiting here for it to get done. And to think about topics. Okay, so then you see each of the eight topics, and you see the exam inserted in between two and three, because after you do topic two, then you would do exam one. After you do topic five, you would do exam two. And after you do topic eight, you would do exam three. Each of the exams are specific to the two, the two or three sections that preceded it. The third exam is not comprehensive. It's just a third exam. For those of you who took me for the in-person class, you will be for you will be thankful for that because if you take it in person, the third exam is comprehensive. I'm not sure why I'm telling you that. Maybe you'll feel I'm being too easy on you. Okay, so let's just click on a topic here. So I'm going to click on topic four. Um,
And we will wait for La Lima to do its thing. And you'll basically see four sub-pages for each topic. Reading, lectures, homework, reflection paper. In the reading, you'll see the individual chapter. And this is going to be the 36, in this case, 28 pages. It's going to be the first, This it's going to be this chapter. So if you're a textbook reader, you're going to print this out. You're going to download it. You're going to read it online. You're going to do something. You're going to do whatever you're going to do. But this is the chapter that motivates the topic. Okay. Then, probably the most important thing. You don't have to read the book. If you're not a book reader, there's nothing against that. Um, you would click on lectures. And under lectures, what you're going to see here is that um, I made a PDF document that basically says this is what I would talk about um, in class, for instance, if this were the topic. Then I made individual videos that explain like just bullet point number one right here. So bullet point number one is going to be explained by this video, bullet point number two by this video. And each of these are not very long. You can watch these, you can blow these out to YouTube by clicking on this YouTube link here. As you can hear. And the way that it looks here is that as you do it, um, as I'm talking, the, um, it, the screen is appearing green here and you'll basically see what I'm writing and hear me talking at the same time. Oh, now I want to watch this. Will Ferrell, hilarious acceptance speech. I'm sure it's good. Okay. Um, then, um, so here you would have all the lectures that you could then watch. Then you would have your homework assignment. And under the homework assignment, you um, will do this in La Lima. I'll make another video that explains this, but basically this is going to be uh, multiple choice questions that you're going to complete that covers the material for this topic. I am going to make a video, though, that gives you an overview of the settings so that you can get the highest possible score. And then there'll be a reflection paper. Um, this reflection paper, I'm going to link to it here, but that's going to use Google Classroom. I'm going to make a video that explains Google Classroom, so um, just watch for that. But basically, you have to do two things for each topic. You need to do a homework assignment, and you need to do a reflection paper for each topic. And then for each section, you also need to do um, the exam. Okay. Um, I think that that basically gives you a really good overview of the um, entire course um, in terms of the syllabus. Look over the syllabus, watch the other videos that I'm making here, but hopefully that's going to give you um, a pretty good overview of um, how to, to do the material for the class. Okay.